Today we're going to be doing a install video of the Raymarine Dragonfly 7 fish finder chart plotter unit. Um, it's a nice, very, very simple unit to use and install. Okay. One thing we notice is that these brackets right here that are probably meant to hold the Lowrance transducer are incompatible with the Raymarine transducer. So, got a Dremel tool here, just got a regular cutting bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off uh, right down to about this line here. I'm gonna sand it down just to skosh, and then we should have a pretty snug fit. Good. All right, so in order to actually get that transducer to slide in there and fit, um, I ended up taking the Dremel tool and with the sander and sanded it down. It looks a little rough, but um, I had to take out that entire bracket so it's flush and now it's going to fit. Really well. So we're going to prep the transducer to go up inside the slot here. Not holding it in. Let our screw here, pop it off. Another transducer. We'll pop it in before here. Just gonna fish our wire through the scupper right here. Alright, so I got that fished all the way through. You can see we've got that fit right here. It's in a pretty good position. We're just gonna <coughs> go ahead and uh, put the cover back on and should hold it in place. Alright, so we've got it positioned in, everything's screwed back in. As you can see it's a pretty tight fit. I'm pushing on that hard. I mean it'll move, but it's uh, in there pretty darn good. So I got it stuck in the center. Got it stuck in the center right there. Everything's nice and locked down. We're gonna flip her over and get down to our electrical here. So next, we're going to fish the transducer cable, well, and power cable as well, uh, through the electric port right here underneath the seat. Now with these, they've got a um, hinge on the back that you're gonna have to access through the rear port, go up inside, you can probably see it right here, we're going to pull that out, and these are your little brackets right here, you need to find one of these little uh, plugs, the wire will fit through, it's going to go back into the hole right here, hopefully this one should fit, we'll get that locked back up. Cover up this hole and have it work too. Want to make sure that you thread your O-ring on through the wire as you run it. That way you can go back over the gasket. Right. So we've got the transducer line waterproof, stuck in there, ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be mounting a fuse block here in the center. Go right down in here, so I've got nice and easy access to it. And um, I need to switch a fuse on the fly, I can do that. The only reason I'm having the fuse block is because we're going to have the power pole on the back. Uh, we're going to have this here with the GPS, and then I'm going to put in a USB charger as well. Right, so we fish the connector. I took off the uh, cap so it fit through nice and quick and easy. Go ahead and put that back on. Get this buttoned up. All right, that was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but we. Uh, Get that cord out here, so we've got our plug ready to go. It's just an awkward angle, at least for me, to uh, try and hold it and thread it. But we got it, and uh, there's our cords here. So now we're gonna start doing our cord management, get everything tightened up, get our fuse block put in. All right, so my power supply is gonna be back here. I've got the power pole, kind of all nice and um, wrapped up, going down with my power line. Mount my fuse block right here. I've got my power leads and the uh, leads for the power pole coming right here. So we're gonna get this all wired up and uh, see what happens. All right, so we're getting closer here. I've got my power wired in. Uh, the power pole is wired into the fuse block as well. That's the 15 amp fuse. It's got the leads of the um, Raymarine heat shrink right here. And it's important to do a little heat shrink and have it down on the bilge. 
So we're gonna get this wired up, get it taped up, and then uh, get our fuse block placed, clean everything up. All right, so I got my fuse block right here. I'm gonna end up kind of mounting it just a little forward. I'm gonna get all my wires cleaned up right here. I'm gonna mount it a little bit forward. I've got it mounted on the starboard so it has some height for any water that may come in. Uh, if I get more than a half inch of water rolling through the kayak, we got more problems than the fuse block. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm actually just gonna apply it with Velcro in case I wanna switch positions for some reason. That way I won't have any adhesive down in there. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna clean it up with acetone so it's nice and clean for the surface adhesion. And let's get rolling with that. All right, so we've got the block mounted right here. It's kind of up on the side. Keep it out of the moisture a little bit more. It's removable, but I mean that Velcro's got it on there nice and tight. So let's get our unit mounted onto the starboard panel. Well, the reason behind that placement is, look, right there, you can open and close your hatch. No problem. Stowed away, nice and dry. All right, so I got everything powered up here. Got it connected, cleaned up, tied up, nice and tidy. So this is gonna run the fish finder. It's gonna run the power pole. I'm gonna put in a USB charging port and we'll be good. And uh, there we go. Fired up, mission accomplished. Clean install. Be ready to do some grouper fishing this fall.